Hey guys, this is Alana. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about building your reader avatar using Facebook ads. So going into this, we're going to assume there's at least a tiny bit of experience in the ads dashboard. Um, we're not going to go through the entire tutorial of that. But for right now, let's talk about making an audience on Facebook that is the perfect fit for your readership. So one of the really powerful things about Facebook is you can truly create a very customized audience. And so what I hope this video is going to encourage you to do is to think past targeting just by like ebook readers who like the same author that you write in that style of, right? That's kind of where most people start with their ads. So they start by coming here and in detailed targeting, they'll throw in authors who are like them. Like I said, great place to start. Another really cool thing is using the suggestions. So let's say we want to do like thrillers. Um, I know there's quite a few thriller authors. So one thing to keep in mind is it's going to be bigger name. I call them like grocery store authors. You know, the, the names that you'll expect to see for sale in the checkout line at your store kind of thing. Those are going to tend to be the names of the authors you have to target. Once you put in a name or two, you can go to suggestions and just pick the authors who are a good fit for your book. All right. So again, great place to start is authors who write in a genre like you. And I just happen to know that Thriller has a whole lot of them. So let me just finish adding some of these. All right. One thing I always keep my eye on is the potential reach. Good rule of thumb is anywhere in the like one to three million range. You can go smaller, but it might mean that your ads will be a little more expensive. I wouldn't go lower than about a hundred thousand. I would make that the absolute minimum. So I like to kind of keep narrowing until I get to maybe one or two million. That's kind of where I like to at least start. All right. So what we've done first is we've selected an audience of people who like at least one of these authors. Okay, it doesn't mean they have to like all of them. They need to match at least one of these interests. And now what we're going to do is go to a narrow audience. Now let's find people who read ebooks. All right, another good place to start. So we've got ebooks. Now here's something you could do. There are things like free ebooks. I think even e-reader news today is on here. Ebook deals. I tend to not focus so much on the bargain seekers, but I think if you had a free or 99 cents, I think that these could probably get you um, some good clicks also. In general, I like to focus on people who don't mind paying full price for books. So I'm going to stick with things like ebooks, ebook readers. I'm going to put in Kindle and I'm going to select Kindle as an interest, but there's a few I'm not going to select. I'm not going to select Kindle as an employer. I'm going to do Kindle store and I'm not going to do Kindle fire. Some people do. I just know a lot of people use their fire more like tablets. So I stick with Amazon Kindle, Kindle and Kindle store. You could also do eBooks. And then again, you can go ahead and hit suggestions to see if other kinds of things come up. If you're wide, this is where you can add things like the wide stores. So Kobo e-reader, Barnes and Noble Nook. That's how you can do it if you are wide. But for right now, let's just build an audience for Kindle. So I'm going to take these out. So now we have people who read mainstream thriller authors who also read ebooks. And our audience size is 3.2 million. So now here's where it gets really fun. This what you've done just now is created the same kind of audience that every single person who writes in your genre would create. So now is a time where you can get a little bit more creative. So this is where we go from just like finding out people who have similar interests and really creating a persona for your character. So a good question to ask yourself again is always like what makes your books unique in that genre and what kind of character or themes tends to show up a lot. And so maybe you do military thrillers, all right? So we've got 
the thriller authors. We've got that they like ebooks. Now let's click narrow further and let's find anybody who's got some military interest. So I'm just going to tap in military. I'm going to just select a few of these and then I'm going to hit suggestions and select a whole bunch of these, right? With the assumption that people who have an interest in these type of things like the US Army or US Navy, or I saw military history in there. Now, here's another thing I'll point out. Some of these are so small, like they're not really worth targeting. You can, but it's not gonna really help you grow your audience. Like there's only 4,000 people who work for the Army National Guard, so probably not worth it. Again, it's not gonna hurt you though to put it. It's best to stick with interests for what we're doing right now, in, as opposed to like job title or employers. In general, that's going to get you more. Just people who are interested in some of these military branches. Now, if I wanted, you could also search for certain job titles. So let's say you do something really niche and you do thrillers about veteran dentists, right? So you could find an audience of people who have an interest in the military and who are dentists. That's where you would use something like job title if you wanted to go really, really niche. Or I helped a friend with ads. She does romances that librarians are the always the protagonists in the whole series. So we targeted you know, people who had librarian in their job title. That's where you could use job title for something like that. But for this, let's say we're sticking with military ebook thrillers. All right, so we've got the ebook here, the thrillers here. Now we've got people who have interest in the military and our audience size is 1.7 million. Now this is a decent audience size. We could definitely run it like this. Let's go one more level of niche. So now let's narrow further. So maybe in your case, you've got military thriller and maybe there's even, let's say there's like a, a comedy aspect to it, right? So there, uh, military thrillers, but there's kind of an edge of humor to them. So now let's see everything that comes up with comedy. Again, let's not worry too much about the ones that are these small sizes, like 13,000, but like 13 million have an interest in comedy. Comedy movies, sure. A billion people like comedy movies. At this point, this is where you can even pull in things like TV shows, things like that, because we've already established that they're readers. We did that just by targeting authors. We established that they're ebook readers in the second one. So now it's totally fine to pull in things like TV shows that have a similar feel, movies that have a similar feel. And again, you just keep your eye on this audience size. So here's a nice big one though, Comedy Central Stand Up. All right, so now, hopefully by now you're getting a really good feel for who this person is. This person reads thrillers, reads ebooks. They also have an interest in the military, but they also like things that are funny. All right. So that's kind of how you can go and you can really keep going. Like I said, don't go past a hundred thousand. Um, that's going to be way too small, but you know, you could even keep going an itty bitty bit deeper. So let's say it's thriller, military and comedy and there's also like a really a really strong female protagonist and so then what you could do is you could look up other movies and things that have a strong female protagonist this is the first one that just popped into my mind is mulan as a uh, a strong female protagonist so there's mulan what's what are some of the like female spy kinds of things i'm trying to think alias the tv show alias so that's how you would build it from there right? So every time you add a level here and you click this narrow further button, you can create more of a uh, really strong feel for the, the reader who would really, really be the perfect one for your book. So think of it kind of as character creation, right? I hope you get the feel like, you know, we're all creative or most of us write fiction here as opposed to nonfiction. So we kind of get this process, right? Like you're, this person's starting to feel like a person and not just a demographic, right? Because they like thrillers, they read ebooks, they're interested in the military. They also like things that are really funny and they like strong female characters, okay? So that's sort of how you keep narrowing it down. If I were building this audience, I would probably put a few more here 
just to, I think right now my goal would be yeah, between 500,000 and a million girl power, sure. I'm just trying to see, yeah, this suggestions box is a, is a good option for when you feel kind of stuck. So let me just go through here real quick. People who are interested in woman, it's probably gonna be too broad. Yeah, look at that, 700 million. That one's probably too broad, but if I really wanted to build up this audience, I would probably ask myself to come up with just like two or three other things that have this strong female character, TV shows or things like that, add them in here. And then we've covered it all. We've created the perfect reader for someone who wants a military thriller that's funny with a really strong female protagonist.